Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make2 and another episode of our Let's Play Minecraft on the PC on our Searchers series. Last week we explored the nether and we didn't die. Well, not on screen. <laughs> and since then I did a little bit of very, very careful exploring and also I didn't die. This is big news for someone like me. And you did some building. I did a little bit of building. So today we're going to go back in the nether because we found our fortress. We didn't actually go exploring much in the fortress. Remember, we did manage to catch a couple of blazes mm -hmm. and from afar we killed a... Ghast. A ghast and a magma cube, I think they're called. I've forgotten the name. But in the interim, what have I done? Well, let's see. This is our how we get outside. At the moment, it's blocked because I wanted to protect myself. But we will be breaking through that again as we head back over there to our fortress. But what I wanted to do, what I've been desperate to do for so long, is to try and get some soul sand, which is really useful for some quite simple Minecraft contraptions. So I've just built some stairs. <laughs> And it's completely surrounded, maybe a bit excessive, completely surrounded by cobblestone. So that if anything does bash me, or if a ghast decides to go crazy and throw fireballs, the cobblestone is fire resistant and ghast resistant, so it should be pretty safe. You are making this netherworld yours. Yeah. You are... So actually all of this, I think up to like here, wow. is part of the like actual the level where we spawned. And then it just goes into nothingness. Mm -hmm. So right now, you'll see when we get outside, but right now we're just outside <laughs> so let's try and break this down oh you block it up behind you yeah i didn't want things to come in sure and let's see i'm gonna get my oh you know i forgot to bring a whole bunch of that with me so we might I have to go quickly up but this is what we do so put all of this up here yep and if you see it round from the side <laughs> wow. it just goes upwards sometimes i made a little bit of gap you can just it blends all the way up into the ceiling yonder's way so you basically, yeah, you built a staircase into the air. Yes. Nice. <laughs> it was a little bit tricky. I didn't fall down. Mm -hmm. And oh gosh, something's... I don't know if this was on fire before. Maybe there's... Look at that. That is, is so cool. This is pretty spooky. It is pretty spooky. Mm -hmm. And here, this little area here is where I found some soul sand. <laughs> so I got it all. Yes, I'm not going to hit you. Don't worry, because if I hit you, <laughs> I will get splattered. We're still not... I'm going to be very careful. We're still not right at the bottom yet. That is zero. Or even that's not zero. This... I guess, yeah, this is the bottom uh -huh. of the nether. And somewhere up there, above all that, is the top. So I've been reading that people say if you want to do lots of proper traveling inside the nether, you should just go all the way up to the... Above here, all the way up to that stuff, and then you can dig tunnels all the way through because the chance of getting lava falling down on you is very small. But for right now, we're just going to go back to... I think it was... Yeah, it's over there, isn't it? We're going to go from over there, and we're going to fly straight into the lava to do that. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> so you built that whole big staircase just to get down to a low enough level to get just soul sand. to get the soul sand. And that you only was... got one patch of soul sand, though. I got eight soul sand. Okay. <laughs> There's probably more... Is it very rare, then? Online it says, oh, it's not that rare. It's kind of everywhere below level 65, which yeah. is where we are now. We're well below. Yeah. Oh, here we have some more. There we go. As if by magic. Well done. Thank you for asking, because then we found some. <laughs> so let's... Col Ooh. Okay, let's put a torch down here, and then let's do a little bit of digging. Let's see. Soul sand. Cool. Soul sand. Soul sand. Sweet. So now I have an abundance of soul sand. I don't mean... I, there was basically one contraption, which was for my killing cute little animals, which I didn't want to build yet, because, you know, they're cute little animals. We did get one comment saying that this animal farm idea is kind of making them sad. And yeah. I was like, it makes me sad too, but that's, I'm not the one building it. That's why I'm going to build it. That's why I've held off building it. Well, there's tons around here. Yeah, there's here. tons. So that's why I've held off building it. <laughs> and I also, yeah, if I when I do build it, if and when, I'm going to build it underground so that you don't actually have to experience all the unpleasantness. It's not going to be such a nasty eyesore. Yeah, so, you don't have to actually see what's going on. Yeah, but it's it's in some it's still going to be there. <laughs> it's very similar to how animal slaughter works in the real world. I mean, exactly. we're meat eaters. I like meat, but when you think about how your meat is actually prepared, you know, exactly. Are you yeah. just going to leave all the rest of that soul sand there? Well, I didn't want to fall through, and we do yeah. have lots of True. things to explore. You could potentially fall through. Hmm, yeah. that is that is a concern. Okay, what was that got, that you That just... was some quartz. So oh, okay. we now have four nether quartz, which I think 
can make one block of quartz, which is a very nice decorating block, which if you followed any of our Let's Build series of Minecraft Pocket Edition, I'm a real fan of because it's got a very nice white and it comes in both stairs and what else does it come in? You can get stairs, slabs and proper bricks. That's pretty nice. Mm. So this is blocked up so nothing can come through there. So this is now a safe little area for me. I'm going to get out some more. <laughs> I'm getting ready because I'm assuming I'm going to get attacked by... Those blazes. The blazes, yeah, because there's... Well, we'll see. Maybe there's a blaze spawn, but those seem to just spawn. We were right at the edge last time of that tunnel. Mm -hmm. And then they seem to just spawn there anyway. So I'm going to put this back here. I, am, I do want to block it up a little bit. I'm going to do that. That blocks it up completely for us. Um, last time, because while, while I was building that, suddenly a baby zombie pigman <laughs> was running around like crazy. And obviously they're not bad. They're not going to hurt you if you don't hurt them. But eventually he managed to find his way out. So I blocked up that bit just so that even little babies can't come through. Do you know what I actually found while I... Did I say this last time? While I was wandering around the first time before last week's episode, I found a baby zombie pigman on a chicken. Yeah, we've shown that on the channel. Not not a, a zombie, a zombie pigment in the nether. Oh, how yeah, did you get down here? I have I don't know. I think just if you're a if you if you're a, if you're a baby zombie pigment, sometimes you can get spawned with a chicken. What? That's just weird. Yeah, I took a screenshot of it. Oh, how cute though. Yeah, it was cute. It was like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> but hey, you know, live and let live. That's what I say. So <laughs> he didn't do many harm. I don't. I, Maybe he's still alive now. Maybe he's gone on to where... Maybe he's grown up and his chicken has grown up with him. Okay, you hear that? Yep. Creepy. Okay, see, there's a whole bunch... Where are we? Just... I was going to say, where do we go? We follow the torches. Yeah. Oh, look at all that black. Ooh, scary. Okay, so the mission... We don't have a strong mission. It's just to basically go a little bit further in to Scoring the, the fortress, fortress than last time. So here you can see where we... Oof. Those gas. Yeah, here you can see where we got to. It's actually a little bit precarious, this bit here. Can make your staircase wider. Yeah. It's on my list. <laughs> so let me eat a potato. We're protecting our little tunnel. So last time, as you saw from those torches, we went all the way out. But this time, let me just get my... Okay, got my hotkeys set up. I don't think a gas is going to come down here. We're going to go this way this time. God, so nasty. So back here is considered part of the fortress? Yeah, this is all f Ooh, fortress. Is it? Ooh, lava. Wow. Love oh, there's a blaze over there. Do you see that? Yeah, right yeah. There? Is it going to form and come for you? I don't know. What's it doing? It's just kind of spinning. Yeah, maybe it can't see us because... Okay, we're going to go this way. <laughs> Just light up our way. And you've got this whole system of putting torches on torches the left. Torches on the left. Yeah. Hope. <laughs> oh, man. When there's lots of places to go. Oh, crumbs. Okay, so this is... Um, okay, so there's nothing this way. So my system is going to be put... Three torches means dead end. Oh, that's a good system. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know if we're ready to go up there. What is, what is all this? Do uh, you even know what we're looking at? I don't know what we're looking at. What is I, all I don't this? really know what we're looking at, but I do know there's things in the nether that if you're not ready for it, it can get pretty bad. Well, um, we are... Um, like is... there's rooms with special things in and end portals and... Stuff. End portals? Well, not end portals, sorry, but there's stairways to goodness knows <laughs> what. What oh. is that? What is all that? I think that might That's be a like zombie out pigment. To the end. Yeah, no, I, I mean like might... the light. I didn't know what it was leading to. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit freaky because it's built straight into this. Just Okay, we've got one, one dead end. Basically, I'd like to just... Know yeah. where we are. Yeah, but I but I don't. So yeah, let's go. We turn left, and then we're back. To yeah, the... this is back the way we came. Yep. And that blaze There's is the still blaze. hanging out. Let's go. Let's just go up here, shall we? Oh, that's a blaze spawner right there. Oh. So this is some bad juju. 
Um. So what can you do with the blaze spawner? Oh, well then you can get lots of blazes, but they can also make lots of blazes. Oh, jeez. Which likewise... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> needed to get some snowballs, needed to get some snowballs. Okay, let's put that out. Okay, so for this spawner... Okay, I need to, I need to make some more tor... Oh, crumbs. <laughs> okay, let's kill this one. You're doing pretty well. Thanks. Yay! He died. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, this is kind of freaky. I need some more snowballs. Um, so... Uh, Oh no, Ooh. caught on fire, caught on fire. <laughs> Maybe we should like leave the vicinity of the spawner. Yeah, because all I need to do is actually light up everywhere around that spawner, but I don't know if I'm oh. quite ready for that. Oh. Uh, because as soon as I get up there, they're going to spawn and start hurting me. <laughs> right. But at least we know where it is and you can bring a lot more snowballs next yeah, time. Yeah, I'm going to put just some torches there to say, hey, there's something there. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, um, snowballs that way. Okay, let's go back this way. So that's pretty cool. There's a spawner there. I wonder what's through this way. Well, there's too much lava really for us to deal with. Now, actually, while I have some, some spare stuff, let's make a few more torches. There we go. Okay, we're maxed out on torches. That's good. So if you did die down here, say, and yes. you lost all your stuff, how long would you have to come back and get your stuff? Um, I think I have a little bit of time. Okay. What is this thing? So this is just, that's just a feature. Oh. <laughs> that's just a wall feature, I think. Okay. But not stuff that you would want to pick apart and get? Um, well, I can, yeah. Oh, lordy, there's stairs. This is leading nowhere good. Uh, <laughs> this is so creepy. Right. Okay, there's nothing up there. Okay, let's block that off. Don't really need to, but just so we know. <laughs> this is dead end as well. Okay. okay. So let's collect our torches for me. <laughs> okay, so all of this is a dead end. What but is there's, that? There's lava right above us. Oh. So let's not break the ceiling down. And uh, now we can come down here. I mean, this is all stuff end. that we could get, you see. We can gather this. And this is all netherrack. These are netherrack gates, which, you know, are good for stuff. So, again, this is all stuff that we can mine and use if we want. I'm going to leave it for now just because we're doing exploring. But you can see I've got some nether brick fences. Mm. So it's just, yeah, decorative. Okay, so that was that was pretty good. <laughs> This will this away. <laughs> um, we have <gasps> zombie, oh, zombie pigmen. Okay, <laughs> let's go and check this thing out. Um, huh? It's like a table with lava in it. Yeah, I think I think this is something special. Uh oh. I think it's a a special room. But I don't know what it's... I can't remember what, I don't know whether it's just decorative or not. Oof. It's so dark in here. <laughs> um, okay. Oh my gosh. I feel like any second now something There's going to be like a... Coming out whomp. at us. <laughs> hmm. Oh, please. <laughs> well, it's been a while since we found anything I know. dodgy and dangerous. Oh no, okay. I don't want to hit the zombie pigman <laughs> for fear of it. Okay. They've gone away gas. for now, yeah. Jeez. 
Okay, I really do hope that this system of torches works, but... Yep. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, I think we get whatever's in the chest and then we book it. Okay, let's put our <laughs> torches down. This is a done area. Nothing else in here. Let's see. Okay, got a saddle. Gold. Gold and Not a bad. saddle. Yeah, that's nice. I think I'm going to try and head back up because I think I don't even know if I can do that. <laughs> let's give myself a full stack. Oh, what is... Okay. Is this a thing? No, this is just a little room area. Gosh. I like your system. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, what was that noise? That was just a noise to spook you out. Did it work? Yeah, it did. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, if you guys know what this is, let us know. After this episode records, I am going to do a little bit of research, but, you know, that's just some bubbling up there. <laughs> Uh, but maybe it's... I know there are special rooms, like stronghold rooms, I think. Oh, there's a magma cube. Oh, what can you do with it? We can kill it. With snow or something else? With arrows, like yeah, I think we did you, last Yeah, you time. used an arrow last time. And then it gives magma, with magma cream. Oh, I don't have enough torches. Magma cream? Yeah. Okay, let's get him. Did I get him? You got him. And now he's got babies. I'm oh, sorry, it's really dark. Happens. All you can do is see the little babies right now. Oh gosh, he's making like... He basically four divides up. It's like a hydra. Right, Um. but what's the max that he can turn into? Just these little ones. These ones here... You just keep killing them until they can't divide anymore or what? I guess, yeah. Because this could go uh, on forever. No, that's They're coming as, towards you! That's as small as they get. Oh gosh! What are you hitting them with? My sword, I hope. <laughs> oh my goodness! I don't think they're that evil. They kind of look cute. It's just that they're made of lava. Yep. They're leaving so many XP though. That's kind of cool. I know. Oh, there's another one just popped out by, back there. <gasps> um, alright. That was not uh, bad. <gasps> Oh no, okay. <laughs> nope. It's like There we go. I've got to get so my aim in, you know. Dark. I know. Okay. That seems good. He died. He died and I think he left a blaze rod for us. Okay, where do we go? We go back on our right. Is that correct? Yes. We want what, what was that? That was something shooting at us. That sounded like a blaze shooting at us. Isn't that the noise they make when they shoot fireballs? I think so. Okay, <sighs> we came from here. We're doing well. Mm -hmm. It's time to get out of here. Yeah. We got Once some loot. We, <laughs> we killed some things. You yeah. even leveled up. You got from 17 to 18. Cool. Ooh. Oh, no. Toodles. Okay, no. Come on. We'd be brave. <laughs> I mean, he, the spawner is behind us I at this know. point. You're out of snowballs. Uh, I'm actually not. I've got a whole bunch. <laughs> Just because they give blaze rods, which is supposed to be such a cool thing to get. Yeah, yeah, there's another one. Another blaze rod. And then there's our last one over here. Ooh, he look at that. Flies? Wow. That's, that's quite an advantage to it blaze is. if they fly. But I think my snowballs go further. Okay. okay, I can't get this one. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him be. <laughs> he's he's like drawing you out. Yeah, exactly. He, he's gonna experience. try and get me to like jump off the edge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna go for it. I'm almost smarter than that. Okay, <laughs> we're a little bit protected. Let's just see what we got. We did not get any magma cream, but mm. we did get two blaze rods. That's a mm -hmm. shame from getting that whole little magma cube thing. But what do you do with magma cream? Um, it's apparently very oh. Why I need magma cream is because magma cream is an essential ingredient for brewing a potion of fire invulnerability. Oh, uh, that would be helpful. And if I have fire invulnerability, I can then yeah, obviously. go to that spawner. So we're going to have to try and find... They're pretty common. Mm -hmm. um, we 
We saw one last episode. <laughs> I thought that you said like the blaze rods give you fire resistance at least. No, you need blaze rods for making any potion. Okay. And then you need magma cream for making a fire resistance potion. Gotcha. That's as far as it's handy. You then also need some equipment. You need a brewing station, which I haven't built yet, but I think I should have the ingredients for that. And you need fuel as well. I oh, think this is also super difficult. Yeah, it's basically just like a complex crafting thing. <laughs> But, but then, wait, once you take the potion one time, are you invulnerable to fire forever? For like five minutes, yeah. Oh, that's not even I that know, helpful. I know, come So we, we are going to try and get that sorted before we next come in the nether, because getting that spawner under control will be awesome. Yeah. Because with that spawner, you can then make tons of blaze rods, I guess. Yeah. Although even if you have one, I don't know how you stop those things shooting at you. So I'm going to have to research how can you find a safe way of making a spawner farm for blazes. Mm-hmm be quite interesting but in the meantime we've had another cool adventure into the nether we yeah expanding our little base which is pretty nice i do love that these zombie pigmen just like hanging out <laughs> on our roof i know it's still looking pretty utilitarian but we've obviously built out i wonder if you can see our little thing from down here your staircase yeah our staircase let's hold my down my shift key there it, oh, is. there it is. That's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we've expanded out our little world into the nether, which I think is really nice. But now we're going to get back into the safety of our home. So let's put that there. And we're now all safe. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, please also feel free to subscribe because there's plenty more Minecraft exploring on the way soon. Thanks for watching.